Yo, 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 what's good? What's good? Man, thanks for tuning in, you know what I'm saying, to another episode of Church Radio, where I'm your host, Minister Church. <laughs> y'all know who that is, man. Y'all know who that is. Do not sit up here and pretend like y'all don't know who that is. He's back, man. Y'all know that's Ann off the blizzard. <laughs> don't know who I am, Jesus. Like, <laughs> that was years ago, my nigga. <laughs> oh, man, dog. It's, it's, it's good to, to have you back, bro. You know, Church Radio ain't the same without you, bro. It's, it's us two. You know what I'm saying? We see, what is it? CMB, CMG, whatever I have it go. <laughs> If that's the case, then we need Earl goof ass in this motherfucker, too. I know, right? We need Earl up here. <laughs> hey, bro, do me a favor, man. I'm going to need you to uh, talk a little louder, you know what I'm saying, so people can hear you. You know what I'm saying, bro? All right. So, all right man, uh, hey, man, friend, this brings tears to my eyes, man. Cause we a match, bro. You 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 know you my family. You my brother, dog. You know what I'm saying. The show just ain't ain't the same without you, dog. I appreciate it, family. I'm just at a different point in my life right now. Yeah, we all married now. <laughs> Kids and shit. Dog, the dog acts like it's a cat. Man, that's beautiful, bro. You got the the white picket fence uh, life going on right now. No, no, no! I got the I got the black steel fence. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 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 Look, yeah! Our locations is definitely different now. You know what I'm saying? I'm still on the west side of Inglewood, though. Okay. Oh, you in Inglewood now? So even when I'm south side, I'm still west side. Okay, all right. For those that's tuning in, he's talking about on the south side of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Where he resides right now. And me, myself, I'm out here in, I can't tell if this is hot Atlanta or cold Atlanta. Because, bro, it was a snowstorm today. Yeah, nigga, they snowing with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, they lied to me, dog. They lied. They said that this is hot Atlanta. I wasn't going to ever again see snow. None of that, bro. Nah. <laughs> it came with your ass, nigga. That's Chicago. Mm. I ain't gonna let you go. I know, right? I'm sitting up here drinking me a, a, a lager right now, a traditional lager, bro. You know how we do. You know we got a drink when we sitting up here broadcasting to the people. Oh, uh, if that's the case, we talking about what it is that we drink. What y'all drinking over there? I don't know. They left. They just walked out. So it's just oh, they Okay. You know, the fifth of 14 year old Caribbean cast. <sighs> Unfinished Balvin. Man, that's what's up, dog. Man, man, bro. It's 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 just you know we having our our reunion moment right now, people. We gonna get into it. You know we gonna get into it. It's a funny topic though, but I had to bring it up. But um, you right, know, well, I mean that's the main. You know, we we, we y'all got to understand, man. Me and this brother ain't. Broadcast live on the airwaves for y'all that don't know. Church Radio, hosted by me and this man, was was nominated for one of the underground radio shows in Chicago's hip hop scene. And the only reason why we lost was because you know um, somebody else's show, you know, had real big uh, money behind them, you know, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Because they was they was already on the on the FM uh, dial. <laughs> check it out, check it out. That's just who everybody else voted for. Thing with us, if you liked our show, you liked our show. If you didn't like our show, you didn't like our show. I was Pretty just much. being on the show, being with my homie, talking shit, playing good music. I was gravy, just like that. I yes, was sir. worried about all of the extra shit. Like, oh man, we gotta like that's why I don't really fuck with Earl. Mm-hmm. Cause Earl with that whole you remember that shit about the fashion show? No, no, hold on, I'm trying to remember. What happened? Was I there? No, no, no. You wasn't there with me that night. This was just me there. These were nights. Remember when he was uh 
sending us out so we could work the boards at different events and shit. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I remember those. I yeah, yeah. Don't remember say the, don't say the show's name, but yeah. Remember when he sent me to the gay fashion show? Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, but he didn't want to tell me what it was beforehand. Oh, because he knew that we wasn't going to broadcast. No, <laughs> well, no, no, it's out. not so much that. At least let us know. No, no, check this out. Truth of the fact is, I wasn't going to go. If he would have told me what it was, I wouldn't have went because that's not my type of shit. Right, right. I hear you. I hear you. It's not that I have anything against the event. But that's not the type of event that I like to go to and kick it at. Mm-hmm. And he want to sit up here on the way back from it talking about some, but did you have fun? Nigga, no, I didn't have fun. <laughs> Naker. Na- Naker. Naker, no, I didn't have fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there at a gay fashion show listening to this dude interview R. Kelly's ex-wife. Oh, she was there? Yeah, she was there. And it was supposed to be some 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 fun thing like a like a black <laughs> South Side Good Morning America. It wasn't. Well, you it know, was, you know, you know, you know, when you have people, brother, that's trying to be mainstream. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, mm, that's not exact. That's not the only reason why I don't fuck with them. There's a second part to that. The uh-huh. second part to that is. As he sit up there and he has me at this event that uh-huh. he's not trying to pay me for, that he tricked me into going to. Uh. He wanted to have a nerve so, to start putting up posts about so, people pushing a gay agenda. <laughs> hey, so look, right? Because, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think, you know what? Oh, you know what? I guess what you're saying could go into what we what the subject is we're going to talk about today. Okay, never mind. Carry on, because, right, I'm going to bring up the subject, which actually is going... I understand. You're you're releasing tension right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. The first time that I've talked about this since I stopped fucking with it, because I don't fuck with it. going to bring you up. I hear you. But right now, this is actually a time to bring that up. It's relevant here because I'm talking to you. Right, right. But he sits up, he tricks me into going to this event that I wouldn't have gone to if he would have told me what it was. Right. Then he wants to sit up there and act like I'm supposed to be grateful for it. (laughs) He wasn't paying me, but he got paid for the event. He got paid for having Uh somebody. Okay, I see what you're saying. And then he wants to turn around and talk about people selling out to the gay community. Right, right. Making money off the gay community and talking shit about them. And it's like, nigga, he could have went to that event. He could have sent me to the other event where they had celebrity motherfucking red car. I could have worked that shit. And he could have did the fashion show. For those who's just tuning in, this is my 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 brother, my partner, not not partner in that way, but my partner on the show, you know, because without <laughs> without Chuch, without him, ain't no Chuch Radio, point blank. Um he's just he, he's airing out the reason why, you know what I'm saying, he parted ways. Cause even me and him really didn't really talk about it, talk about it, you know what I'm saying. Because I had my own issues with the director to a certain degree. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, right. So we was, but but he's given the part when I wasn't around, when he was running the show, you know, because I had to do something. I couldn't make it. So, you know, and off the block did. So, right. okay, I feel what you're saying, bro. Yeah. yeah. It was just that goofy shit, man. Okay. But you are you over it now, bro? Oh, yeah, I'm over shit. I'm oh. good. I'm not, I don't fuck with dude. It's, it's cool. I, but this is this, this the best thing now, bro. This right here is a pod show, a podcast show. And the best thing about it is I'm getting an attachment where I'll have another phone where I can plug into like a monitor where people can actually see the person that I'm talking to. You feel what I'm saying? And sure. you know what I'm saying, which is going to be off the chain. 
Um, I actually got it already, but for some odd reason, I don't know, maybe my phone outdated. It, it's just not mirroring on my uh, on my screen. So, but but yeah, I'm I'm working on that. But the best thing about this is, my brother, is we can still do these shows, bro. We can talk about hot topics. We don't have the gloves are off. We not controlled now. We can talk how we want to talk. You feel me? I mean, so man, bro, it's no whole bars. And you see, that's what everybody loved our show about, man. That's why they loved us, bro, because we was unadulterated. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no sponsorship. You know what I'm saying? It's like David Chappelle, bro. You, we ain't controlled. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about what needs to be talked about. You know what I'm saying? And and that's the that's the beauty of this pod show. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me. Now I said it's a beautiful thing, fam. Yeah, in the comforts of your own home. Now you know what I'm saying. In the comfort of your home, we don't have to worry about you. Don't you don't have to worry about jumping on the on the blue line or the green line to in in the snow to to come all the way from the other side of the city. To 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 the suburbs. I ain't got to worry about trying to drive on the on the expressway in a blizzard. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even got to worry about that no more. Now, man, bro, we broadcasting right here in our homes. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. All right. So, getting into the topic, bro. I know you saw my post um, last well, sometime this week. And what's so funny is I was watching a uh, program and that was brought up. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about this thing. It's like a, a male. It's like, I don't want to say feminist or meninist or something. Maybe it's a meninist group. <laughs> Magtow, dog. And I'm like, what the hell is Magtow? What is Magtow? And so, you know, I was listening to 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 this uh brother that was breaking it down, I couldn't believe, bro. It's different levels to this thing, man. And I'm like, okay, this gotta, you know, what I'm saying, no shade, no shade to those who's gay or whatever the case is. But I'm just like, this got to be led by somebody that's gay that hate women. You know what I'm saying? And it's different levels to it because they have to, in order to get traction, they got to get a straight man to be a part of this too. Look, no, no. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you this right here. Talk to me. What is it about? Do you know anything about this? Well, I know from what I read in the uh, article that you posted. Mm -hmm. And I checked some things out on YouTube about <coughs> So, they are one of these meninist groups. But they don't consider themselves one of these meninist groups. Okay. Their whole thing, it's not that they're sexually homosexual. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They have more of an emotional homosexuality to them because they can't bond with a woman on that level. They can only bond with men on that emotional level. They have mm. sex, they have a desire to have sex with men, but emotionally, they are so much more attracted to men than women that it's mm. better. Other nigga. Like, you know how a woman, a woman will sit up here and you can have a, another woman on the side. If it's just sex, she'll forgive you. Or I ain't gonna say she'll always forgive you. Right. You have more of a chance of her forgiving you for it if it's just sex. If it's a thing of you had a whole nother relationship, relationship, right. You are emotionally attached to this other woman. You going on vacation with this bitch? The, her motherfucking kids call you dad? Mm -hmm. That's different. No, she ain't never going to forgive you for that. Even if she takes you back, she ain't never going to forgive you. No, she going to let you know even in an argument. She going to let you know. Well, this is the thing with this these MGTOW dudes. That level of a relationship, they can only forge that with another man. Right. That's have all these groups where oh it's just men only and women can't be involved like now nah, y'all on some shit there there's so, something to keep you from attaching to a woman right at level that's the key right there 
is keeping you from the attachment. Now, another level is these are the straight. Now, these are the straight guys because remember, it's different. It's different levels and hierarchies within this umbrella. Reminds you of ice lords. You know, you got your different splinters and stuff <laughs> like that. But now and, you got. Oh, huh? Everybody don't need to know our nine uh, radio show business. <laughs> All right, so you have um, now you have a degree of guys that want to. What is it? They they're in a relationship only for a certain amount of time before it's common law, and then they leave you alone and move on to somebody else. Yeah, that those are called parasites. <laughs> Why you call them parasites, eh? Talk to me. Break it down, bro. They're doing it. They're sitting there and they're attaching themselves onto another organism and using it for as much as they can to keep them alive and sustained. And then when they've gotten all that they can get out of them, they detach and move on to something else. That's, mm -hmm. That's like worms. Worms start off in one piece of food, end up in you, you shit it out. Next thing you know, the dog and ate some shit, and they got the damn work. It just—it's the circle of bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So I was listening to some of the explanations on the the ideologies of it, and you know, and some of some of the guys was like, you know, we're tired of of. All right, you know, you know? I'm here. Ain't that odd, man? It kicked you off, bro. I don't know what that was all about. It could kick you and me off. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know, maybe maybe we got the feds listening. I don't know. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But we're going to continue, man. I'm two together. That's all, you know. It's all good. Hey, uh, uh, for those, you know what I'm saying, uh, sorry that, you know, we um, had some disruption there. Uh, but we back. We was talking about uh, this whole... Uh, Meninist group, uh, you know, Meg Meg Megtal, from my understanding, uh, started uh, I think around I think what in 2016, I guess. You know, some men get mad with you know how uh, how the women are, are are having the upper hand in court, divorce court. Uh, men are, you know, what I'm saying can 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 uh uh what be attached to common law and and the men and the women are eating their pockets up on divorce so MGTOW what it stands for is men going their own way. Yeah and 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 there's different levels to it. You know we was just talking a few minutes ago before we got interrupted uh, there's levels to this thing from, you know, from, from, from what I get, you know, you have those, like you said, aunt, uh, they're just, what you say you have those that are what don't want any type of, uh, relationship that with, with no woman, sexual. Yeah. Emotional. No, they can right. make emotional bonds with other men. Mm. Whatever reason I can't tell you what reason. I know I love my wife. I can make that bond with my wife. I can make that bond with my daughters. I can make that bond with my mother. I love my mom. Name a nigga from the West Side that don't love his mama. I <laughs> a nigga that probably right? put you in the face. Everybody, if you black, if you're a black man, you love your mom. Mm -hmm. Many of these cats out here that can't even have that love for their mother. Just yeah, that, it's like a I don't know, man. It's like a group. It's like a justified, you know, group that want to take advantage. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that is you want the pleasures without the responsibilities. You feel what I'm saying? I am. Fuck boy. Right, exactly. It's like justified gigolo. It's like a it's like a group for gigolos, bro. <laughs> uh -huh. Gigolos because a lot of these dudes is dudes that can't get no pussy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so yeah, yeah. Can't get none. They're talking about how they gonna swear off with it. 
It's sad, man. It's sad. I think, you know, and at the end of the day, I think who it hurts the most, you know, is the black community, man. And the reason why I say that is because we already have enough dysfunction, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just like, 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 I mean, you know, and I understand me and you don't always see eye to eye to certain things. Um, but like, I like your, fem- like your feminist groups, you know how they pretty much pulled in black women, which are black feminists. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and it's like, okay, we got to deal with this over here. And now we got to deal with this thing right here, you know what I'm saying? Men that don't want to take responsibility. I'm sure there's guys out there that would love to argue that point. You know what I'm saying? In the future, feel free to leave us a message if you want to ever get in on these conversations. Right. You know, but I feel, like, huh? I feel like there's a very big difference in that in this group and that actual phenomenon that you just pointed out. Men bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. Yeah, men not wanting to take responsibility has nothing to do with the MGTOW movement or a minimist movement or a feminist movement. None of that has to do with men not taking responsibility. There have always been men who didn't take responsibility. Mm -hmm. Has nothing to do with any movement. If anything, that's the reason that these movements ended up happening. It's because Mm. of men that didn't want to take responsibility. And you can make that parallel with just random. Look at the issues that we still have facing with us. Mm -hmm. Racism. The reason that racism is still an issue is because white people don't want to take responsibility for the shit that they started doing. So Mm -hmm. you can relate that back to with men and women. You have men that sat up here and they impregnated women and now they don't want to take responsibility for that family unit. They don't want to take responsibility for their actions. You went on. Yes, you had sex with this woman. You had it unprotected. You got her pregnant. There is a baby of the consequence. Her reaction is... Well, that baby is her problem. It ain't mine. If she didn't want to get pregnant, she should have taken precautions. Mm-hmm. And that's not a black thing. That's not a Hispanic thing. It's not a white thing. That is a male female thing because I know a lot of white women that are single mothers. And I know a lot of black women that are single mothers. And mm-hmm. I know Hispanic women that are single mothers. And I know one Asian chick that's a single mother. And the only reason that I only know one is because it ain't that many Asian people that be around where I be at. I'm pretty Mm -hmm. sure if I knew more, I would know more Asian single mothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and like you said, it's not it's not a uh, a, 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 a race thing, but it's like, it hurts us the most, though, man. We already got enough issues with each other, man. When you we, know what I'm saying? When we talking about this MGTOW shit, this ain't got shit to do with black people. Ain't no black men walking around here honestly talking about some, yeah, man, I ain't finna fuck up with, fuck with no chicks no more. It's just going hey, to be- But you know what? Hey, hey, I gotta stop. I gotta stop you there. Check this out. L- listen, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Is if you really think about it, it's being pumped in our culture through music. Even though you, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, fuck the bitch. Oh, I just want to do this and I just want to do that and move on to the next hole. You feel what I'm saying? Oh yeah, they've been doing that. You right? Yeah, that that ain't nothing new. <laughs> and that ain't about black music, white music, none of that. That's always been what the case. Even when you had them white boys doing they shoot it, shoot it, wah, stick <laughs> pussy and getting the fuck out. Even it's right. it's Christmas songs that <laughs> is cold outside. That's some that's some rapey shit. <laughs> He's talking about some, let me take your shit off. She's like, no, it's cold outside. Get the fuck off. He's like, no, 
I, I want to hit them draws. No, it's cause I, <laughs> I want to suck some toes, bitch. Come on, get this dick. <laughs> Old song, and that's a Christmas song. <laughs> ah, <laughs> wow. Fuck. <laughs> Man, we all messed up here. <laughs> That's why it's like when you get to this point of this shit and people's all upset and then right, your rage ain't real, my nigga. These men, they really ain't. Man, they ain't really mad at women. They mad at themselves because they can't sufficiently please a woman. They mad mm -hmm. at themselves because they can't really foster the type of relationship that you would need to foster with a woman for y'all to actually strive and push forth together. They don't mm -hmm. they're not capable of doing that. And that's yes, you know, well these bitches ain't gonna give me no pussy. Fuck it. I ain't gonna give them no dick then. But well, wasn't nobody checking for your your insufficient penis, G. <laughs> wasn't nobody checking for it. So you swearing it off really don't matter. <laughs> because nobody yeah. gonna give you no pussy no way. <laughs> so pretty much this is so so in a nutshell, Magtow is a bunch of emotional men. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and and it's majority white dudes. Mm -hmm. Majority white I think they I think they're trying to get traction by trying to uh uh attract uh people of all races though to help you know, but you already know there's a large community, as in a small percentage of the black <laughs> community of black men that just say they not gonna fuck with black women. Yeah, 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 yeah. That ain't unless they homos, right? Yeah. You're right about that. Now, this is the thing, though. And the messed up part about it is some of them homos messing with women, <laughs> right? And they think they not gonna stop messing with women. They just gonna stop messing with black women. Mm-hmm. But they still need a woman. Mm -hmm. They acknowledge that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They only gonna uh, procreate as needed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's just, I mean, the whole concept is just ridiculous to me. It's like, it's so unorganized. You feel me? Yeah, I mean, look, and this is no matter who you are. No matter if you're straight, gay, trans, whatever the fuck, you need somebody else there with you. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and with these dudes sitting up here talking about some, no, it's just going to be me by myself and I'm a hobby. These are motherfuckers. These are the dudes that end up being the next school shoot. Yep, yep. These are the dudes that end up being your next Oklahoma City bomber. Mm -hmm. that end up becoming serial rapists. Because at the end of the day, man, real men don't sit up here and think of stupid shit like this, period. You feel what I'm saying? No. Because we got this. It's like some emotional kid shit, man. Nigga, we got bills to pay. We got kids to raise. We got jobs to work. We got shit to do. Exactly. Exactly. Well, since we pretty much took care of that in a nutshell. Yeah, them niggas ain't shit. Hey, let me ask you a question. Here go a new subject. Go for it. And 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 to the audience, we didn't even talk about this. I'm actually bringing it up right now. Because I, I thought our MAGTAL conversation was going to probably end up being longer, but thank God that it wasn't. Nah, them niggas is goofy. Hey, man, how do you feel? And and <clears throat> I'm going to try to stay on the journalist part without my e personal emotions or whatever. Uh, um, how do you feel about the state, you know, uh, the interview, bro, with, um, with Gail and... Uh, uh, what's her name? Um, yeah. How, how do you feel about that interview, bro? Ah. Did you did you check out that interview yet? Or no? Nah? There was not a single thing wrong with that interview. Okay. 
her asking the question that she asked, if you actually look at it in the context in which it was asked, mm -hmm. that was a question that was setting Lisa Leslie up to make Kobe look better. But these emotional ass, reactionary ass niggas look at a clip and don't put it in context. If you looked at the whole interview and even the way that she phrased the question, it was about whether or not these allegations would tarnish his legacy. And if you listen to Lisa Leslie's answer as in, no, not at all. This was a private matter that he was acquitted for. And does it change my opinion of him as a human being and as a friend? No. This is not mm -hmm. his legacy at all. I can't see him engaged in any of what's going on of what they're accusing him of. And even if Gail asked her follow-up question, which as a journalist you're supposed to do, she still reiterated the same thing to reinforce that, that she felt that Kobe Bryant was a wonderful individual and he was her friend and the world would be at a great loss without him. That is what she said. That's what she put forth. That's the answer that came from that question. And you know what? And I think I probably represent the majority of the people that didn't watch the entire uh, interview. I pro I, I, I'm like everybody else that just listened to the sound bites because, um, you know, because she made a uh, comment. She made, I mean, I think she made, do you think she made a personal comment, bro? When, when, when she said to Le uh, uh, Lisa Leslie, when she said, uh, you know, well, do you think, you know what I'm saying, that, that he was like that? And then she was like, no, nah, I don't think that he's like that. You know, he's not aggressive. You know, when we went out, he never sat up here and, you know, was like, hey, man, you know, pretty much go hook me up and nothing like that. That's not even his character. And she was like, well, of course you would know that because, I mean, you're a friend. I mean, wouldn't that be that's like a personal, wouldn't that be like her personal opinion on that? No, man, that's what you're supposed to do as a journalist. Okay. And this is the this is one of the fucked up parts of these past three years that we've been going through. Where talk to us. Journalists, where journalists don't ask fucking follow-up questions no more. Where you just ask some initial shit. And a motherfucker give you a bullshit answer, and then when you try and do a follow, they go fake news, and then they snatch a press pass. Mm. Supposed to ask follow up questions. Too many people get bullshit softball interviews. You don't want to ask them. This this is when we get to what really blew me with the show and the whole gold deal shit. Of me sitting here, me having my own personal opinion on this cat and have a it. problem with saying that to his face and being asked to not say that, being told to calm my shit down and tone my shit down when this nigga's in here. And this is the person that I have the issue with. And I don't want to just sit here and throw this nigga softballs. I want to get into the meat of it. And I want to. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Well, that's what journalists are not doing now. And that okay, I see what you say. Was actually trying to do. You supposed to get to that. You're supposed to question a person on their own biases on the subject matter. You're not supposed mm -hmm. to just leave that. She's like, yeah. So you doing this? Well, yay, that's great. We're not going to talk about these thousands of people getting exploited or the kids in cages or the number of young girls that this motherfucker raped or we ain't going to talk about that uncle, grandfather, a cousin that be molesting <clears throat> the kids. But then as soon as the gay person come around, oh, we got to keep them away from the kids. But you right. pop pop fuck little boys and that. Right. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. We have a lot of hi hypocrisy uh, you know, in our community. No, you're supposed to go for that shit as a journalist. Mm -hmm. I'm not even talking about the hypocrisy. I'm talking about what you're supposed to do as a journalist. As a journalist, you yeah. You are not doing. You don't just ask the question and take that shit at face value for whatever the fuck. You're supposed to ask them. You got to drill this shit. 
the truth mm-hmm. is the first three words they say to you. Right. Any now that's ever cheated on his chicken got busted to tell you that. Mm-hmm. What I think is really piss what I, what I think what I think is Oh, I, I think what's really pissing people off is like you you know what I'm saying? It's like like the whole Bill Cosby thing with the, the R. Kelly thing. With you know what I'm saying, and I understand that in our community we do like to um turn you know turn a what, what is it turn a blind eye to certain stuff, but what what was really I think pissing people off is but you're hanging around pedophiles, you're hanging around rapists, Man. but you're not sitting up here putting them on blast. Why aren't you interviewing them? You feel what I'm saying? Like you, you going hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you got all the smoke for us, for your own people, but you ain't got the smoke for the for the other people. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I'm gonna tell you why you're wrong on that. Talk you to me. Only go hard at the people that accept your invitation to do an interview. If Harvey Weinstein doesn't grant her an interview, how is she going to ask these questions of Harvey Weinstein? Uh, makes okay. I right. Okay. 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 She heard that interview. So she right. didn't do what she does because that's who she's interviewed. If she had nothing but white people she was interviewing, and then she was always throwing them soft bullshit, and then as soon as she got a black person, then she started going hard at them. Then you can criticize her. But if all she's ever interviewed was black people, which is mostly what she does, how you going to criticize her for doing her job the way it's supposed to be done? That's now, you are looking her. at this from a non-biased view, right? Look, Oh, yeah, I got you. But check me okay. out. That's okay. like her interviewing Barack Obama. And not bringing up the fact that he would authorize drone strikes on U.S. citizens. Hold on. Say that again. Yeah, Barack Obama, as president of the United States, he authorized drone strikes to murder United States citizens overseas. Oh, I ain't. Well, I knew there was a lot of stuff going on with you know what I'm saying with him not keeping his word on certain stuff. Oh yeah that wouldn't surprise me. Okay. I see what you're saying. saying right. That's like, that's like her having that interview with him and not asking him about that. You're not asking him about that question. It's like you got you know what now nowadays man a lot of people from my understanding a lot of people um when they're asked to interview Especially a lot of these celebrities that have a lot of uh, uh, controversial issues surrounding them mm. that want to control the interview. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what? hey, don't ask me this question. Don't ask me that question. You know what I'm saying? And and like you say, that's not good journalism, man. No, don't, you know, man, seriously, because but. You know, they taking it, they're taking it because at least they getting the person in the studio. And then when they do ask them that question and they do like, you know, what R. Kelly had once done and a few other um, uh, celebrities have done, they just get up and walk out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, it, and it's sad, man. You know, but I mean, yeah, that's the day and age we live in now. Yeah. That, you know that's- that. There's gag acts, you know, gag uh, contracts. Hey, yeah, I'll come interview you, but we can, but we can only talk about this, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, really? <laughs> then, really, I don't need you here. <laughs> yeah, but they thirsty. They thirsty to get them in that studio. About the things that people really want to know about. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 So, no, you're not going to have Gail King doing an in-depth expose of Harvey Weinstein because Harvey Weinstein is not going to give her that interview. Barbara Mm -hmm. Walters is going to come out of retirement to take that interview. Yep, yep, it's going to be one of them that's going to do it, yep. He's not going to give that to Gail King. So who does Gail King have? And it's not a thing about her 
having something against black people or wanting to go against black people or tear black people down. But it's a thing of if you're a fucking journalist, you're supposed to ask hard questions. You're not so going you not going to be in a room with Donald Trump and I'm not going to punch him in the face. I mean, I'm not going to ask him about the kids that he has in cages or the fact that the black woman that he freed from jail, they've been trying to lock back up in jail since they freed her. Or the black man in his head about, I freed a nigga ass. <laughs> and how they trying to put this nigga back in jail. You think I'm not going to ask him about that shit? Think I'm right. not going to bring that shit up? Of course I'm going to bring that shit up. Even if I do give him a, a copy of the questions beforehand. Mm -hmm. You think I'm not going to sit up here and be like, yeah, I know this ain't on the list, but I'm going to yeah, ask right. those questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good journalism. And I think what, what can happen is, I mean, we have gotten so used to commercialized journalism now that we really, as a, as a population, as a society, don't even know what journalism really is anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so commercialized now, you know? Yeah. Because it's basically... You'll hear, you hear journalisms... Uh, I mean, journalisms. You'll hear journalists complain that they that their hierarchies is telling them, hey, don't, don't talk about this, don't talk about that. You know what I'm saying? To stay yeah. away from this and... You know, and and right. If you're a journalist, man, you want to be because because you want to be the one to get that hot topic, that hot conversation going that don't nobody else have going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what it's all about, bro. That's what it's all about, man. Hey, man. I, I you know, hey, man. As the as the days go on, bro, we gonna have so many different conversations. You know what I'm saying? We going to, you know, whatever your next conversation you want to talk about or whatever, man, I just want to talk about, I want to talk about, you know, like the, uh, the state of hip hop, bro. I mean, it's, I mean, especially, bro, it's like these little shorties out here, but we're going to say that for a whole nother subject on, a, on another day. You know, I, I do... You know, and actually, I was talking to uh, a quarter man. You said what? I said, I want to talk about how motherfuckers need to rearrange who's in their top 10 because a lot of people's top 10 MCs are trash. Yeah, that's cool. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. And if you want to do any interviews or whatever the case is, man, bro, it's all, you know, we can still do that too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as time go on, bro, this show going to get better, man. You know, me and you, the rock, Chicago rock boys back in the building. You know what I'm saying? And, and hey, bro, we weren't, we running this. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to worry about nobody else running this. We doing this, bro. We going to talk about the subjects that's going on, man, that don't nobody want to talk about. We talk about politics. We talk about everything, man. You know, them uncomfortable conversations, man. We're going to talk about it, bro. Real talk. Real talk. That's how we do. And, you know, and, and, and to the audience, one thing I can say, you know, we try to look at things at a non-biased view, you know, because I'm going to tell you something. There's, there's a lot of stuff that... I'm huh? not going to tell that lie. I don't try to look at things from a non-biased view. I'm very biased. <laughs> <laughs> and me, and me, hey... And me and Aunt don't always agree on every little thing, and that's what, and, and, and we're not supposed to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's his individual, I'm my individual, you know. But at the end of the day, man, we're gonna try to get down to the bottom of it, man, because hey, man, you know, we love our people, we trying to, man, bro, you know, if we can inspire somebody, we did our job. We know we can't, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, change everybody, but for those who's listening to us right now, man. Hey, man, if we inspire you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we always here. You know, we not we not bought by corporations. You know what I'm saying? Sponsorships don't own us. We talk about what we want to talk about. If, they, if you going through something, you can always holler at him on, on, on social media. We talk back to our people. 
You know, that's what I say to my Instagram people. Man, y'all, y'all can go on and follow me. I'll follow you back. I'm not trying to look important. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all got a, a, a subject. Y'all want a comment, you know, something you're going through. You want to talk about it. Hey, man, I'm an ear. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to give you the best advice that I can. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. And that's it, boy. You sound like you over there uh, smoking a blunt and eating some eating something. Actually, I'm making some chicken and some ramen noodles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I I I got some lemon, uh, some lemon. I'm I'm down there cooking some lemon pepper, bro. And I so I made half lemon pepper uh, chicken. You know, I'm on my Rick Ross right now. And then I got me some jerk chicken. The other half, jerk chicken. You know what I'm saying? And man, bro, we gonna go down there, Max. You know, I can't have none of that. So, <laughs> uh, you and your jerk chicken kiss my ass. <laughs> I don't love jerk chicken. I love jerk chicken. Fat nigga. That's what's up, man. You go ahead and do your thing, man. It was good talking to you, fam. Hey, Negro, I love you, my nigga. And that's no homo, man, but you my dog. You my dog. You like the song. You my dog. You my dog. <laughs> nigga, so homo. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all. Man, I just want to thank all you guys for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, next week. We're going to come with a, with, with another subject. We're going to talk about some. Feel free to drop some subjects. If it's something that you want to talk about, hey, man, get at us. Get at us. You know what I'm saying? We will definitely talk to you. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. And I'm sitting up here wondering, like, who in the hell is calling me on my work phone right now? It's the weekend. I'm not talking to none of y'all. <laughs> Shit, I'm off the clock. Man, you better answer the phone and get your money. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that's what's up man hey hold on hold on before you go bro hey we just want to thank everybody man who tuned in you know what i'm saying earlier we did have some complications you know what i'm saying but of course we back we back uh man thanks for tuning in to church radio man y'all can get it and, and on, off the block you know what i'm saying on on, on uh facebook you know what i'm saying uh you you want people to contact you on there or no nah? No, I'm good. All right, you good. You good. Okay. But, hey, if you want to get in contact with, you know what I'm saying, me, Minister Church, hey, it's just like that. You can get at me on Twitter as uh, the the real Minister Church. That's M-I-N-I-S-T-A, Minister Church, C-H-U-U-C-H, the real Minister Church. And you can just get at me on Instagram too, huh? What's that? I said, don't get at me. I don't know you motherfuckers like that. <laughs> so y'all ain't here, man. Hey, man, we just want. Oh, and you can get at me uh, also because uh, this will be uploaded on uh, YouTube. So y'all can get at us. You know, well, you can get at me on YouTube. Uh, church hey. Television. C H U U C H television. I'm not going to tell you how to spell television because you should know how to spell that. So, with that in mind, hey man, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? To talk about, you know, the subject of uh, my towel, which is a a bootleg male feminist group or whatever, and 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 you know, we 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 touched on a little Lisa Leslie, huh? It's Mig Toes, not my towel. It's Mig Toes. Okay. Hey, I think I'm thinking of, uh, uh, of a, what is it, a Japanese drink? Right. You're thinking of a Mai Tai. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I got you for, bro. <laughs> hey, man, I love you, bro. Thanks for tuning in. Man, man, bro, it is a pleasure to have you back, man. Me and you, man. CMB. CMB. <laughs> you wild, G. You wild. I know. Hey, man. Hey, man. You know, we both been sitting up here drinking. I've been drinking. You know, it's all good. But anyway, hey, we can really go on and get on up out of here, man. We hope y'all enjoyed the show or whatever the case is. You know, this is the beginning of many more shows. You know what I'm saying? My partner's back. We back together. Man, we're going to do the damn thing. So, y'all tune in. 
Stay updated. I'm going to keep you updated. And that's what's up. Chach Radio. Chach. All right, G. All right, my Negro. I'll let you. <laughs>